Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Calculators Guys 2. And I need to remember to turn the uh, wither spawner off whenever I'm not here. Because things have happened. It was chunk loaded, but they weren't actually spawning. So, yeah. There we go. Oh, they killed my dogs. Dang it. Jerks. Okay, let's have farm animals, but... And the Draconic Evolution Grinder was not able to keep up with what just happened over there. Come on, guy. <sighs> yeah, you know, I should probably have this on. Everything is claimed, so they can't actually really do damage to stuff here. They might have done some damage over at the farm itself. Uh, because claiming, as far as I know, doesn't stop them from their uh, contact destruction. You know, the, uh, the destruction of blocks on contact. Man, even killed my skeleton horse. What a jerk. How hard that thing was to get on a sky block. Um, let's see. Well, we've got experience that was just sitting down here. Yeah, see, they wiped out four mechanical users here. I'll have to fix that later. I'm good on nether stars for right now, but I was over on the moon taking care of some stuff, and as soon as I teleported back here, I just saw the top of the screen fill up with wither boss bars and then it's just like oh no uh bad things have happened there was a ton of withers over there though good lord all right um get this stuff put away uh one of the reasons i came back actually is i needed to check the color code on this bottom chest here uh So, which side's the front? Okay, this is the front. Okay. Hmm. You know, it'd be easier just to come over here and check. There's orange, cyan, white. Okay. I've been setting up more farms in another dimension. So, uh, orange, cyan, white. Okay, got two of these. And it'll probably be easier if I just do this and we'll, uh, what do I have for dye here? Orange and sand, perfect. All right, so unfortunately the my wolves are gone now, which is a shame. Okay, good. So I had them forever. Uh, I did take out some of the stuff that was over here. I still need to do something about that atomic reconstructor. And I felt really smart when I logged in today because it's like, okay, yeah, there's this. I made some more scribers, and then I come over here, and it's like, crap. I already had an advanced inscriber, and I got the uh, crystal growth accelerator. All right, well, I can repurpose this island now that the uh, the livestock is gone. I don't know what I would put there, though. 
I need to do something about these trees, too. Because I need chicken curry for the, uh, the cosmic stew, I think it is. And... Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Uh, I need all those things for the, uh, for the curry. All right. Um, now here's a question, right? I am going to need singularities, right? Ah, dang it. So we're probably good on iron and gold for now. Um, lapis and redstone. 147,000 lapis. And the singularity is at, that is 18,000 blocks. Okay, so let's add lapis to the list. I'm only setting up four gardens for right now. Uh, redstone. Uh, yeah, no, redstone. Definitely going to need that as well. Nothing else in it. it Everything needs redstone to craft with. So we have quartz and copper. Copper, not great. Quartz singularity is it's blocks, 18,000 blocks. Okay, definitely. You know, we're just going to do copper as well. All right. Add that to my list. Okay, try again. There we go. Um, yeah. So need those four seeds, which should have down here. I just have to find them in the uh I like copper. You can give me a stack of that. Okay, I just wanted a stack, thank you. And that's Certus. This would be another quartz? Yeah. And let's see, Lapis was the other one which is this one. And then redstone, I think, is on this side. Ah, uh, yes. Wow, lots of redstone seeds. So how are we doing on iron and gold for possible singularities here in the future? Song. How about we uh, go sing? Uh, actually, oh, I'm checking that. I, just, I know what I'm looking at. Iron and gold. 81,000 iron... 49,000 gold. Okay. It's really weird how withers won't form if there's not if you're not in the same dimension as them. There we go. I haven't gone as extreme on these. Uh, as far as, like, they take accelerating, so that is definitely a thing. And I am going to need to get some carbon of some flavor over here, which shouldn't be too bad. I need to chunk load this area, though. There we go. There it goes. Look at that. That's moving at a pretty decent pace now. And it's just those four resources right now. So it's very, this is a more focused farm. The other one is just like everything all at once because, well, why not? I need all the resources I can get my hands on. All right, let's go ahead and do this then. Uh, coal. We'll get those uh, carbon dioxide generators running. And yeah, it's already changing. So uh, hopefully this will be able to keep up with a smaller farm too. That's the other thing is, is the other one is running so fast. The carbon dioxide generator, it's not doing much, if anything at all. So. But right now we just have the lily pads of fertility and the, uh, the carbon dioxide really. Haven't gotten into any of the other like tick, uh, tick accelerators. Like this one is a uh, 
actually not terrible. It's going to be a manually crafting kind of thing, though. Especially, yeah, potions of swiftness and all that. Just the regular ones, though, thank goodness. But I've got a lot of fertilized dirt. Uh, bone blocks aren't a problem. Growth accelerators are really not a problem either. So, But uh, we've had problems with redstone before, so this should definitely solve that, though. And next question. How much skystone do I have? I don't really think I have... Okay, cool. Uh, just go ahead and give me a stack of this, because I need to cook this up. The ME controller is made over at the uh, compact machines, you know, crafting style. Uh, let's go here. I think it was X-Utility. Yeah, here we go. So I need a charger still, and then the controller to finish this. And yeah, we're going to need two crafting co-processing units, which is an engineering processor divided by a crafting unit. Okay. Don't think I have any of those made. And then I need a charger still. Uh, this thing. Which is honestly not expensive at all. Hey, there we go. Travelers, Why did the Traveler's Logbook update? That's the Twilight. Uh, energy cells, though. This is uh, going to be probably the most problematic out of them because I need... Here's a question. Okay, store energy zero. Sweet. So they don't need to be charged, which is good. Uh, so we can use these, but they do need to be the dense ones. So I'm going to need 16 energy cells and a calculation. And I'm going to need a lot of fluid dust for this. So... Uh, you know what? I could probably just run this through here. Are you caught up yet? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. You know, let's get X stuff out of here. Uh, put that away for now. And you can go in here. I don't know why you didn't... Why aren't you stacking? That is really weird. Mm. Oh, well. There we go. All right. So we're getting a little bit of Fluix dust. All right. Uh, processors. What do I have sitting around for this? Just uh, logic and engineering. Okay. I need pure certus for the uh, calculations. We need that. Uh, let's see. Silicon. Got one printed silicon. Yeah. Don't think that's going to be enough. You know, strangely enough, right? And then let's go ahead and grab half stack of redstone. So you and you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's really quick. How you guys doing? Eh, you're, you're doing right. So, we're up to 10 ingots of neutronium now. Now, this neutronium compressor, uh, iridescent alta recipe, I need three hopper hawks, I need two resonant conversion kits, not a problem. I need a bunch of reinforced iron. I need a totemic capacitor. That's going to be problematic. And then there's the crystal matrix, which requires these ingots, which are draconic alloy smelters. So that's a ways away yet. But uh, the rest of it, we actually, we're doing pretty good on. The totemic is going to be... Evoker spawn eggs are craftable. So yeah, I'm going to set up an evoker farm. Not particularly looking forward to that, but you know... Do what you do with what you got, right? Oh, I need to uh add in that first. And I've got three thousand sort of quartz dust. I think we're okay for now.
Let's make up a bunch more of this stuff. Oh, you're almost done. Up oh, and it ran out right before it finished. Okay. So I can get rid of these things out of here. Uh, enchanted ingots we do have automated. Uh, have that automated. So Spectre and Mirian are my main issues right now. And then the crafting units, those were more calculation and logic. Okay. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time setting up recipes for an AE2 system now, aren't I? Yep. Just thinking about that, it's like, yeah, that's going to take a bit. Uh, let's look up press here, right? Uh, logic and engineering. There we go. And I have an extra silicon. Why does this look different than that? It's like there's less details on items when they're in the uh, the panel here. All right, so ME controller, I need two engineerings, which I'll have to get to in a minute here. There's our two crafting units. Um, just grab a couple diamonds. Is that really 64,000 diamonds? Nice. That's finally catching up. It's only 7,000 blocks, though. That's something else I really need to get on a dedicated farm, I think. Uh, redstone times two. And silicon times one. We'll just use up that extra printed silicon. I'm just, just sitting there. You know, it's not doing any good. There you go. You can go into there now. All right. So I'm going to have to think about here in the future soon, too. Um, this mess that I have going on underneath me here. I mean, it's working as far as the conduiting is concerned. But I'm going to start plumbing in a, an AE2 system into this thing soon. Like this whole system here just annoys me still. I blame mechanism for that annoyance. But, uh, dang it, Aiden. Here, let's, uh, do that. All right. So, get that done. Yeah, energetic silver can be made in the smeltery. Yeah, which helps. And then that. After we get this done, we'll only have one quest left here in Extra Utilities. Uh, calculator, this one requires the Draconic Alloy Smelter. Batania, that, yeah, requires me just to sit down and do Batania. I am going to have to do some Gaia Guardian fights soon, and that's going to just happen on a different planet. It just makes the most sense. And uh, Scientific Calculator, right? Either that or I got to make a giant uh, platform around here somewhere to do that on. And yeah, rather not. It's there's not much of a point to do that when it's uh, literally just, you know, I already have a space available that I could do that on okay, here. You are empty. OK, come here. There we go. So I need an energy acceptor in the top center. Uh, that you. And then controller. I need four blocks of Fluix, which is not going to be a problem. So it doesn't really matter which side these go on. So I'll just do one, two. Now, uh, let's see. Let's look at quartz glass. How much do I have? Um, I have like, yeah, hardly any. Okay. Give me a bunch. Thank you. And energy cell. I need 16 of these. Uh, 
I can go through and do this number with a couple of you in the middle. There's our dense energy cells. So that stuff away. Blue X blocks, I need four. And that should be enough. Oh, I need a Fluix Pearl, too, to kick it off. Uh, doo -doo 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 Pearl. There we go. So you go here and here. And one, two, three, four. Throw it out. No go, because I've got these things disabled, right? This one, there it goes. And boom. There is our AE2 quest completed. Finally. So you're not going to stack either, are you? Why do blocks like this retain? It shouldn't make a damn difference if it's been placed or not. If you're not like retaining inventory or energy or anything like that, just, just don't. Hey, cool, they're done. All right, and away you go. The only real logical place for this thing to go is right where my inventory panel is. I'm just like, I don't want to break this. Do we have, uh, what do we, do we have the ME conduits? Uh, we have ME conduit and dense ME conduit. All right. So is that you are Fluix and quartz fiber, or you can just do it with the uh, cabling as well. Uh, let's get like 48. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and make these into the, uh, the dense version. That's only 12 dense cables, but, uh, but it'll come in handy because one thing is I can finally move my, uh, atomic calculator cause it doesn't really need to be there. And you, if I toss you up here. You got power. Hey, awesome. Now to the ME quest. Yeah, it didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, require me to do anything else. So panel, right? At applied. This is, I need a, uh, a crafting terminal, but I am going to need to make these things first here. Go, eliminate a panel, and then I can upgrade these into the various terminals and whatnot. Uh, interface terminal, ME terminal. Okay, I need an annihilation core or two. And uh, interface. Okay, close enough, right? And I need a uh, formation core. And I'm out of logic processors now. All right, 64 logic chips later and some acceleration cards because I get tired of waiting. Um, and we have results of terminal. Awesome. Now, here's a question. Oh, I actually do have an extra crafting table. Sweet. All right. So we have a crafting terminal now. Now, here comes the fun part. Is there anything actually in here? No. Um, right here. Just take you out for a second. Conduit, conduit, there we go. And we'll get you back up here for now. And that means I can slap you down there. Why would you do that? Is it because I didn't place you against a cable you decided to face bass backwards? Oh, Freaking annoying.
Yep, he did it again. Okay, I'm just seeing if like holding shift makes a difference. It does not. All right. Uh, let's see. Just need a block. Huh, that'll work. Okay, apparently that block doesn't actually exist. Okay, there. Aluminum ore. Oh, no, that. Thank you. Never did clean up this whole mess, and now I'm kind of paying for it, aren't I? Okay, I can't place it that way. Okay, um, I have a feeling that at some point in time my system messed up a bit because there should not be that many items in these warehouses. That is, yeah, quite a bit. So you come here. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, you know what? You can just go here for now, then. At least that way you face the right damn way when I put you down. All right, so we have a terminal. Actually, that's a question for the ages. Uh, here we go. Give me that back. I place you like that. Yeah, you don't have power. Okay. Do you stop? Just auto replace. They're not the same item. Mod makers quit being lazy and just using metadata for everything. Actually, it does make sense usually, but it just it's annoying whenever you have the auto replace on. All right, so we have I know there's an ME cable in here. This is my data cable, energy item. The ME cable's not actually showing up currently. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to rip the whole system apart to get this done here. Let me get this and that out. Oh, that just places without an item frame. That's right. Okay. Um, so, wire charger. I don't need you there. You stay. Be a really good idea if you stayed. You don't need to be there either. Let me get some of the stuff out of my inventory now. Go, that's the door factory, which I'm probably never going to use. Do love the mod, but it with my base design, I don't really see doors being an issue. Here, you give me that. You come here. That's just an energy storage, which is honestly tiny compared to what I actually use. Let's see, let's put the charger away. Uh, for now, you can go here with that. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, do this instead, right? Get our controller down over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and toss these mini panels in. That way they uh, oh, quit annoying me. There we go. And then you can go there. You are going to need power. And I'm trying not to sneeze. Okay, I failed at that one. All right. 
Let's get ourselves energy conduit and a flux point, right? So I can put you here. You can go there, and we'll just go ahead and turn you on. And whoop, there it goes. Okay. So you're powered up, ready to go. Awesome. Right now it's just a glorified crafting table. Can't use this part at all. And Okay, there's our buses. Uh, let's see. Here's a question. If I hook this up like that, see I didn't even touch. Okay. See, I need to look at these because I need a lot of storage buses, which are going to need a bunch of interfaces. All right. How are we doing on the silver? That's that's the next question, right? Um, three stacks of energetic silver. Okay. I think I can work with that. All right. So interfaces, I just, dang it. Hit A instead of R when I was mousing over it. All right. Let's go ahead. So give me eight of these. Awesome. And then I'm going to need that was formations. I need annihilations now. Let's go ahead and clear that out for now. You are going to be like that with that. Hey, look at you go. All right, how's our uh, our pistons looking? Actually, we're just about perfect. I just need one more of you. And then you guys do this. There we go. So if I was to do that, right? And yeah, um, we can get eight channels out of a uh, regular Flux cable, right? Well, smart cables are a thing, though. All right, dense smart. Just, okay, regular smart. Be like you, maybe. Okay. Okay, then we need covered. So I'm going to need a ton of wool. Okay. I have not set up AE2 in such a long time. There we go. There's our covered cable, and then we can take and turn those into smart cable. We can turn those into smart cable, like so. And if I wanted to make these dense, then... Do I really have to dye them a color first before I can make them a dense cable? A dense smart? Is that really a thing? Okay, so it's just four covered cables. Okay, I, I can work with that. Really? Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Dense smart fluix. Dense covered cable. Which is... Covered cable. Oh, since I went ahead and made these smart cables, I can't turn them. Oh, okay. Right. There it goes. And boom. That is everything stored in. Why and where is that coming from? What the hell? What is... Okay, it is still reading all the items in there. There are a ton of... Uh, why do... What? How? Like...
what is producing lava clay buckets? No, don't auto select you stupid thing. No, frickin' okay. There should be nothing producing this. I've got a, there's a bug somewhere. And God only knows what, but it has flooded my storages with freaking clay buckets. And the numbers are all freaking out here too. I mean, look at that. I am at a loss. I really am. Um, what the, is there some kind of item coming in that the warehouse is converting into? Okay. It looks like it's uh, oh no. Okay. I tried hitting F3H. Uh, looks like it's quit filling. Nope, nope, it's still going. Wow. Um, hmm. All right. So it is still finding buckets. Let me search bucket over here, right? Just to see. It's showing one of each over here. And it just, yeah, restarted again. Um, let me pull that and that out then. Hey, there we go. So apparently it's a display issue with certain items in the warehouses. Although at the same time, there really should not be that much stuff in, in these. Uh, the way the, yes, yeah, there shouldn't be, actually that's Tinkers, never mind, that'll be fine. Those are, yeah, I expect those to be in here. Uh, we have some Electrum that's in here though, that shouldn't be here. This stuff should not be in here. The empowered crystals. Right. So it might be a few days till the next episode because I'm going to have to completely, um, yeah, get rid of these warehouses, it looks like, unfortunately. And that is just a huge amount of items. Now, if I put these back, There we go. Do you glitch out again? Yep. Well, I found an exploit. I functionally have unlimited lava and destabilized redstone goo right now. Because this bucket here, I pulled that out of the... Uh, the ME system and then it was still here so but with the way the numbers are flickering and everything else like that like there should be I made a stack of these things there should only be 59 of these and it's showing 67 at times so I'm not sure what's going on with that uh, but it's not glitched out for the regular buckets although I do have a ton of regular lava in here but Yeah, I was hoping to be able to use these warehouses as a uh, external storages, uh, similar with the storage drawers, but it looks like that's not going to be a thing. Now you can go into here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to like rip all of this out. 
Well, I'm going to transfer all these items onto storage disks, it looks like. And there's going to be a lot of drives. Yeah. You know, honestly, at this point, since I proved I can make this, I'm thinking about just installing refined storage. I hate AE2 with a passion. And, like, things like this is one of the reasons why. Because refined storage works fine with these. But... I don't know. Uh, leave a comment to me what you think. Should I install refined storage to solve this issue? Because... Yeah. <laughs> That's just not right. Oh, hey, look. Got wild animals again already. Maybe I should release another wither. Do I still have the wolves up here? Yep. <laughs> They're still stuck inside of my power plant up here. Which is honestly not being used for anything. All right. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, science signing out. Have fun.